This is called the slow-mo clone effect. And here's how I made it. On a tripod, record four to five shots of your subject doing jumps or running in different parts of the frame. Make sure to record a clean plate as well of the background. Record at the highest frame rate your camera allows, either 60 or 120 frames per second. And for editing purposes, go beyond the 180 degree shutter rule and crank your shutter so that there's less motion blur. This will make it easier to mask your subject. Bring all your clips into After Effects and rotoscope out your subjects. Make sure to include the shadows by adding a mask if necessary for a more realistic result. Render out those clips on a transparent background and bring them into Premiere Pro. Once in Premiere Pro, create a new sequence that is either 24 or 30 frames per second. On the first bottom layer, add the clean plate background. Then stack your subject so that it makes sense between foreground and background. On your main jump layer, open the time remapping on the clip Create speed ramp points on your clip at the beginning of the jump and at the end of the jump. In the middle, slow your clip down to five or 10%. Now this is the most important part for smooth slow motion. Right click on your clip, go to time interpolation and select optical flow. Do this for all your clips and have them come in at different times. Color grade your sequence, add some sound effects and you're good to go. Have fun.